Good afternoon to one and all. I am Arvi Kiran, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Chevrolet Engineering College. Today in this class, we are going to discuss about lower pair mechanisms. So this topic is the starting topic in the second unit. So from today's class, we are going to enter second unit. We have completed the first unit in the last video lecture. This is my 10th lecture regarding to the subject kinematics of machinery. So first of all, we already defined about what is a mechanism in the first unit, which is the basics. So the number of rigid bodies arranged in such a way that the motion of one body causes constrained and predictable motion to the other. So that is the definition of a mechanism and it transmits and modifies the motion as well. So in the below picture, you can see the slider crank mechanism in which it, it has four links. So first link is the fixed link. Second link is the crank which rotates in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Third link is the connecting rod which connects the slider and the crank. Fourth link is the slider here. So the slider crank mechanism is used to transmit the motion from rotary motion to the reciprocating motion. So that is reciprocating motion means to the linear motion that is forward and backwards. So that is the definition of a mechanism. So in the our first topic is straight line motion mechanisms. So what are these straight line motion mechanisms and how do they exist and what are they developed for? So first of all, straight line motion mechanisms is used to convert rotary motion into a straight line motion. So these are generally used to convert rotary motion into a straight line motion and these are first developed by James Watt for the reciprocating piston of steam engine. So these are generally used for the steam engines which is used to be as the reciprocating piston. So these are developed by the scientist James Watt and these are classified into two types. First one is the exact straight line mechanisms. Second one is the approximate straight line mechanisms, which is the modified straight line mechanisms. In the exact straight line mechanisms, we have the mechanisms, peculiar mechanism, Hart mechanism, Scott Russell mechanism, and etc. So Kemp mechanism is also there. But in the syllabus, we got the mechanisms, peculiar mechanism, heart mechanism and Scott Russell mechanism. So these three are in the syllabus. And on coming to the approximate straight line mechanisms, it consists of modified Scott Russell mechanism, grasshopper mechanism, Watt mechanism and Robert mechanism. So these are the four different types of mechanisms which exists in the approximate straight line mechanisms. So these are all in the syllabus. So firstly, we go to the exact straight line machine mechanisms. So in the straight line mechanisms, one of the most common forms of the constraint mechanisms is that it permits only relative motion of 
an oscillatory nature along a straight line. That is, it converts the rotary motion into a reciprocating motion only. Then the mechanisms used for this purpose are called straight line motion mechanisms. So generally when we are going to convert a rotary motion mechanism into a straight line that is a reciprocating motion, these type of mechanisms are called as straight line motion mechanisms. And these mechanisms are of the following two types. So it consists of two types. First condition is in which only turning pairs are used. So in this type of straight line motion mechanisms, in the first condition, only turning pairs are used. And in the second one, in which only one sliding pair is used. So these are the two conditions in which they got two types. First one is the one in which only turning pairs are used. And second one is the one in which only one sliding pair is used. And these two types of mechanisms may produce exact straight line motion or approximate straight line motion as discussed in the following articles. So these are discussed in the following articles. These two types of mechanisms may produce the exact straight line motion or approximate straight line motion mechanisms. So these are the conditions. Next, what are the conditions to be existed in the straight line motion mechanism that is exact straight line motion? So the principle adopted for a mathematically correct or exact straight line motion is described in the figure. So you can see the crack here and two types of lens have been in OA, sorry, OB and OQ. The straight line generated is the BQ. BQ is the straight line generated from these two points. Let O be a point on the circumference of a circle. So O be a point in the circumference of a circle with a diameter OP. So OP is the diameter and let OA be the chord. You know the difference between a chord and a diameter. So the highest length of the circle is known as the diameter and the length less than the diameter in which it does not passes from the center is called as chord. So chord and the puddle would have a center inch pass over the circle low can it diameter and another catch it on the center inch pass over the highest length would have a diameter low and B is a point on the OA produced. So B is the extended length of the OA length such that OA is equal to OB. So that is OA is sorry OA into OB is equal to constant to the Thus the locus of a point B will be a straight line which is perpendicular to the direction OP. So if you put OA into OB is equal to constant to the Supi E point of extended line of your straight line which is perpendicular to the line OP. OP line ki perpendicular direction lo ki straight line and edi straight line and edi form of me. So that is the motion carried. And the principle adopted for the mechanical correct or straight line motion mechanism is seen. So these two are of the same slide. So next we are going to see the proof for the straight line motion mechanisms. So draw a line BQ perpendicular to OP. So OP is the 
diameter of the circle and we are extending the op line and forms a line q and we are joining the bq points through a straight line which is perpendicular to the op line then join ap so we are then we are joining the ap so oa is the chord and op is the diameter in which it forms three points that is oa and p so oa is the chord ob sorry op is the diameter so in which we are joining the points a and p which is at right angle position then the triangles oap and obq are similar so oap and obq are similar to each other then we are taking the similar position oa by op is equal to oq by ob so oa by op so the length of the chord is divided by the length of the diameter is equal to oq by ob then we are multiplying the cross section so op into oq is equal to oa into ob that is oa into ob is equal to op into oq we are cross multiplying it or we can take it as oq only oq is equal to oa into ob by op so then op is constant as it is the diameter of a circle so generally when we are taking the diameter of the circle then it is constant so when you turn it in any position it will be at similar length so that is the advantage of the diameter so but op is constant at it is the diameter of the circle then oa is multiplied with the ob and it is constant so oa into ob is constant then oq will be also be constant so when oa into ob is constant then oq will also be constant position hence the point b moves along the straight line path so these b moves with the straight line path and bq which is perpendicular to the op so these are the general similar proofs from a circle we are taking so generally we are taking it with a chord and a diameter and extending the positions of the points and by taking the say, one line as constant we are taking it as a straight line so here you can see the base and two similar triangles oap and obq then we are going to see the first mechanism in the straight line motion mechanism that is exact straight line motion mechanism peculiar mechanism so peculiar mechanism is one of the most important mechanism in the exact straight line motion mechanism and repeatedly asked question in the jntk external exams also so this is regularly repeated question in any one of the sets in the jntk examination so this peculiar mechanism is invented in 1864 and this is also known as peculiar linking linkage so this is the linkage bonds of a mechanism and the first true planar straight line mechanism also is the peculiar mechanism and it is named after the french scientist or army officer charles nicolas peculiar and a lipkin mechanism my sorry mathematician yom tau lipkin lipkin so these two scientists form the peculiar mechanism so that it is called as peculiar lipkin linkage 
and we are also called a peculiar mechanism also this mechanism is one of the exact straight line motion mechanisms so these mechanisms comes under the exact straight line motion mechanisms so this is the peculiar mechanism so left side one is the diagram of a peculiar mechanism in which o on dash is the fixed link here and there consists of a square in which four triangles is there so ac is equal to cb is equal to bd is equal to ad so these are the four equal in lengths and here oc is also equal to od and o1 o1 is equal to o1 a so these two lengths also equal then we are going to prove that it may be proved that the product oa into ob is remains constant so these oa into ob is remain to be constant when the link o1a rotates so when this o1a link is to be rotated these oa into ob length is to be remain constant so that is the position here so these peculiar mechanisms consists of a fixed link o o1 and the other straight line links that the other straight line links o1a oc od ad db bc ca which you can see in the picture also here these are connected by the turning pairs at their intersections as shown in the figure and the pin at a so you can see the pin at a is constrained to move along the circumference and here op is the diameter and oa is the chord so oa is the chord and op is the diameter of the circle the pin at a is constrained to move along the circumference of a circle with the fixed diameter op so op is the fixed diameter by means of a linkage o1 a so o1 a is the radius here then we can see the similar lengths that is ac is equal to bc is equal to bd is equal to da and oc is equal to od then o1 dash is equal to o1 a so these are the equal lengths so generally we are going to prove that oa into ob is equal to constant which remains to be constant when o1a that is the crank is to be rotated when o1a is to be rotated these oa into ob is remain to be constant so elanti movement ane dantlo undadam so oa into ob lo elanti movement ane undu adi oka straight line lage undipothadi so migatha change aina kuda links so adu matram change avvane manam chupiyali next join cd to bisect ab at r so we are joining the cd line which is the intersection line and the diagonal of the square and we are also joining the ab so this consists of two diagonals cd and ab and this intersection point is to be r now from the right angle triangles o r c and b r c so this is the large triangle and this is the smaller triangle so o r c and b r 
say. So we have from the similar positions we have OC square is equal to OR square plus RC square. So OC square is equal to OR square plus RC square. So side square hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. So that is the theorem we use from. Side square plus side square is equal to hypotenuse square. Here OC is the hypotenuse from the triangle OCR and OR and RC is the side lengths. Next, we are taking the second triangle BC square. That is the hypotenuse of the second triangle BCR, which is a smaller triangle. And we are applying also the same formula or theorem, Pythagoras theorem. Side square plus side square is equal to hypotenuse square, which we have applied in the earlier triangle also. So BC square is equal to RB square plus RC square. So BC square is equal to RB square plus RC square. Then subtracting the first equation from the second one, that is, this is the first equation. This is the first equation. And this is the second equation. So subtracting the second one from the first one, we have OC square minus BC square is equal to. So OC square minus BC square is equal to OR square minus RB square because RC square and RC square is to be cancelled when we are going to subtract. That is RC square minus RC square. It is going to subtract. And we have formed only OR square minus RB square. So when we are taking the A square minus B square formula, it is to be OR plus RB into OR minus RB. Then OR plus RB is the length of. So OR plus RB is the length of OB. So OR plus RB and the number total of OB and coach the length of and OR minus RB. So OR loan in chi RB in this is the ONA So RB is equal to RA gravity. RB length in OR loan in this is the OA over positive, which is to be the OA. So that is the final result. So, OR plus RB So, OR plus RB. So, OR is the large triangle plus RB. So, we have OB and length of the Next to OR minus RB. So, OR is RB length. RB length is the 
सो एर स्ट्रेट लाइन आरबीजल एआर वर्कते मिगली मन की ओ सो आने सो अट्ला मन की सो ओसी स्क्वे मैनस्टी स्क्वे सो सिं ओसी अंड बीसी आर्स्टेंट लेर ओबी इंटू ओ इज ईक्वल टू काटेंट इंटू ओबी काटेंट Hence the point B traces a straight line path. So all our manual straight line path ne generally is called. So So that is about the peculiar mechanism. Now we can see the video regarding to the peculiar mechanism. So this is the black color one is the OLN and this is the B position here and this is the OC and OD. So you don't do red color marks on a red color links on a the OC OD. Next to black color the OA. Next to equal to this is OB. This is the OB. straight line on the line or constant to the OB. Straight line is the black color line or generate of the OB. So this is the homemade video of a peculiar mechanism, which is uh, made by the ice fruit sticks, is the wooden sticks. So now look at same links on my four links for the same lens on my. Is it rotate out for the matter? Is the oscillate of the emotion? इकट्रईट लाइन अने की फॉर्म
you can see it in the video. So you can see how it is moving. So this is the another video for the how my peculiar mechanism is going to work. So that is the straight rod in which a straight line is generated through the peculiar mechanism. So that is the straight line. So we can make these mechanisms useful to any situation depending upon the purpose we are going to use this. So here you can see the ball is traveling from the hole. So this ball is transferred from this and coming to this. And again, it is lifting to this and it is then traveling. So based upon the purpose, we can use it in any type. So we have seen this straight line mechanism motions and dividing it into two types, exact straight line mechanism and approximate straight line mechanism. In this, first one is the exact straight line motion mechanism. It can be divided to peculiar Hartz and Scott Russell. So today we are going, we are explaining the peculiar mechanism. So this is the peculiar mechanism.
this is the making video of how a peculiar mechanism can be made So this is about the peculiar mechanism which is on the exact straight line motion mechanisms and tomorrow we are going to explain the year so we're going to see hearts mechanism and spot russell mechanism also thank you